Hello everyone, today I am going to explain the port problem of Lead Code Weekly Contest 321 which is count subarrays with median king. So we are given an array nums of size n of distinct integers from 1 to n. So we can say that the uh, array is a permutation. So uh, and we are also given a positive integer k. Now we have to find the number of non-empty subarrays of nums which has median equal to k. So what is the median that is explained here? So if the length of the subarray is or uh, even, we are just taking this element. So if the length of the subarray is even, we are taking this two. And if the length of the subarray is odd, we will just take this element, middle element. So uh, if the length of the subarray is even, there are two middle elements. We are taking the first one. If the length of the subarray is odd, we are just taking the middle element. One middle element will be there. So now uh, let's uh, jump into the example. So our example is 3, 2, 1, 4, 5 and our k equals to uh, 4. So our k equals to 4. Uh, that means that um, we have to find the number of subarrays whose median equals to 4. So let's take the um, subarrays. Um, so the first subarray that I can consider is 4. The 4 will have only one element. So there will be only one um, mid middle element which is also the median 4. So this is the first um, uh, subarray whose median is 4. Now the second subarray will be uh, let's say 4, 5. So 4, 5 has even number of elements. So uh, we will just consider there will be two middle elements. 4 and 5 both are the middle elements and we are just taking uh, considering the first middle element according to the problem. So this, is, this has also median equals to 4. So our answer will be 2. Now let's consider this uh, subarray 1, 4, 5. Uh, so uh, there is only one middle element which is 4. So again, the middle element is the median. So uh, our survey uh, is uh, mid has median equals to four. So our total answer is three. So you can check the uh, output is three. So uh, let's uh, jump into the brute force solution. So let's delete these things. Uh, so what brute force solution you can think of? So the first brute force solution you can think of will be order of uh, n square. So this is the brute force solution I can think of. So you just iterate over all the surveys. Let's say the survey with uh, starting L and ending R. So now there is a uh, survey with uh, starting is L and ending at R. Okay. So la first let's consider order of NQ solution. Okay. So first consider order of NQ solution. So we'll just iterate over all L and R's. Now we are given an array. Okay. So now we are given an array of the survey. Sorry subarray of the array which is a of l to a of r now how will we find that this is this has median equals to k how will we find this median okay so for finding its median we have to sort the array first and then we have to take the middle element so it will be uh, order of n log n so order of n log n this is the worst time complexity we can get so the overall time complexity will be uh, for finding l and r our complexity will be order of n square and for finding median or time complexity will be order of n log n so our overall time complexity will be order of n cube log n but uh, according to the um, constraints you can say this will not pass now let's uh, just improve this n log n part to order of n so uh, here we are just finding median so let's find if k is median or not so let's say <clears throat> now uh, we have to just do the some observation the first observation we can make so first observation we can make is that if there is a survey uh, let's say there is a survey from a1 a2 dot 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 a of n now let's say the median of the survey is k so the median of the survey is k so now can say that there would be at max n by 2 elements which is less than equals to k so there should be at max n by 2 elements where ai less than equals to k now let's take the uh, um, example so let's take the example 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 now uh, in sorry we can say it 1 plus n by 2 uh, if we are considering the odd case here <coughs> or you can say that it is the ceiling value ceiling value of n by 2 or n plus 1 by 2 the floor value of this okay so 1 2 3 4 5 uh, now the floor value uh, ceiling value of n by 2 will be 3 so there are three elements which is less than equals to k so that's our 1 2 and 3 let's consider k equals to 3 here so this is the first observation we can make is that if the number of elements uh sorry if the median of the survey uh, if the median of any array is k then there are at least uh, at most n by 2 elements which is less than equals to k uh, just 
uh, now ignore the at most and at least part because we are just considering arrays with distinct elements so we can say that there are equals to n by 2 elements where ai less than equals to k if we are not considering the distinct part then there will be case where we can say it will be at least or at max something but here it is clearly mentioned that this is a permutation and all the elements are distinct so we can say that if uh, the number of elements less than equals to k are 3 and then the median of the subarray will be 3 if and only if the uh, array contains element equals to k okay so there are two conditions first condition is this uh, and the number of i's whose ai less than equals to k will be ceiling of n by 2 and the second uh, is um, k e is in the survey k is in a okay this is the two condition then we can say th this um, this uh, this array a 1 to n has median equals to k now let's jump into another observation now let's jump into the observation so now let's say we, we have an array a1, a2, a3, and an. Now we have to find if the array contains the median element equals to k. So we are also given array. We are given an array a and um, median equals to k. Now if we replace if ai less than k, we are just replacing it with minus 1. And if ai equals to k, we are replacing it with 0. Now, if ai greater than k, we are replacing it by 1. Okay. So, what I have told is that if ai less than equals to k and number of this will be n by 2. And if, uh, sorry, uh, if ai greater than k, it should be also n by 2. Okay. And uh, there should be one index ai whose value is equals to ai equals to k will be 1. Okay. So, <coughs> uh, let's consider first the number of elements n is even so these three are the conditions uh, uh, derived from the previous explanation so now uh, if n is even n is even then ai less than equals to k will be 2 ai greater than k will be 2 and ai equals to k will be 1 will be 1 now if n equals to 5 ai less than k will be less than equals to k will be 3 ai greater than k will be 2 and ai equals to k will be 1 so we are just considering ceiling value here and uh, floor value here okay so this these are the condition now if we replace ai less than k by minus 1 ai equals to k by 0 and ai greater than k by 1 what will you get so let's do that Let's do erase this thing and erase this thing also. Now we are given something like 3, 2, 1, 4, 5 and k equals to 4. k equals to 4. And we will do, do this transformation. Okay. We will do this transformation. So 3, 2, 1, 4, 5, 3 less than k, so it will be minus 1. 2 less than 4, it will also be minus 1. 1 less than 4, it will be minus 1. 4 equals to 4 it will be 0 and 5 equals 5 greater than 4 it will be 1 now if we take the prefix sum now we'll take the prefix sum i will explain why we are doing this so we'll take the prefix sum so let's consider 1 0 here so 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 3 minus 2 now <coughs> uh, okay so uh, according to this condition ai less than k will be in uh, ceiling of n by 2 and ai greater than 2 will be floor of n by 2 so what we can do okay now let's consider the length of the survey is odd so let's say n equals to 5 now uh, what we have said that ai less than equals to k will be uh, ceiling of n by 2 ceiling of n by 2 which is equals to 3 ai greater than k will be float of n by 2 which is equals to 2 and ai equals to k is 1 now uh, according to this transformation if ai less than equals to k we are transforming it by minus 1 now if we just remove ai equals to k from ai less than equals to k so you will get ai less than k by ai less than k by 2 
so 2 to 1 so 2 into minus 1 plus 2 into 1 plus 1 into 0 so 2 into minus 1 for the first case plus 2 into 1 plus 0 so it will be sum will be 0 now if n equals to 4 uh, ai less than k will be ai less than equals to k will be 2 ai greater than k will be 2 and ai equals to k will be 1 now just remove this ai less than uh, ai equals to k from ai less than equals to k so ai less than k will be 1 this will be 2 and this will be 1 so we are getting minus 1 from here 2 plus 2 from here and 0 from here so the sum of the subject will be minus 1 plus 2 will be 1 so now what uh, observation we can make is that if the length of the subway is even we are getting sum as 1 and if the length of the subway is odd we are getting sum as 0. No, so now that is our case. So let's uh, jump into the solution. So jump into the solution. So this is the case. Okay. So jump into my solution. So what I am doing this part is just uh, transforming it if a equals to k we are just marking index equals to i and a i equals to 0. Now if a i greater than k it will be minus 1 or you can do it otherwise if a i less than k minus 1 a i greater than k 1 I have do, done it otherwise I, a i greater than k is minus 1 you can just transform it 1 with minus 1 nothing will change okay now uh, so if index is minus 1 that means the uh, a i k is not present in the array we are just returning 0 so it, it will always be present in the array I have not taken this case that num, nums of the size is uh, n and all the elements are distinct that means k will be present in the array so now um, we can remove this comment out this thing so now here we are considering the prefix array we are just building the prefix array uh, I am considering one best indexing from the prefix array one best indexing ok I have got it now this part is quite interesting ok so now let me explain this part so let's remove these things. Okay, let's remove these things. Hmm. Now uh, this part is interesting. So now when we are building something like a1, a2, a3, dot dot a n, so we have to find the uh, size of the subarray which is equals to zero. So we are just building this prefix sum. So let's say we are just at index r now prefix r will be there so now let's consider any subarray l to r which sum is 0 okay so what we can say is that prefix r will be equals to prefix l minus 1 i hope you got it prefix l uh, minus 1 will be equals to prefix of r now let's consider another thing if the uh, sum of the subarray is 1 so what we can say is that prefix r minus prefix l minus 1 it will be equals to 1 so prefix r will be 1 plus prefix of l plus 1 what we can do is that prefix l uh, prefix r equals to prefix l minus 1 plus 1 okay so these two are the conditions if prefix r equals to prefix l minus 1 or prefix r equals to prefix l minus 1 plus 1 then uh, we are just incrementing our answer so now we have to consider another case here uh, as let's say we are at this array 1 2 3 4 5 now for uh, what will be the if k equals to 3 k equals to 3 index of the k is 3 here if we are considering one based indexing so l could be either 1 or either 2 or either 3 and our r could be this 4 and 5 so when we are just incrementing the value of the map by m of prefix l minus 1 we will just consider the value either 1 2 or 3 and when we are just doing something like answer plus equals to m of prefix r m of prefix r we are just uh, considering the value 4 and 5 so that's what i have done here uh, we are just uh, iterating up to index i equals to 0 i less than equals to index m of prefix i plus plus and now uh, this part is for l this part is for for prefix of l okay now this part is for prefix r this part is for prefix r so there are two cases i have already explained if one case is prefix r equals to prefix l minus 1 and the second case is prefix r is equals to prefix l minus 1 plus 1 so that's what i, I have considered uh, m of prefix i or m of prefix i plus 1 i hope you got it at the end we are returning answer if you st there, there this is quite a long video um, if you have any doubt regarding any part of the video please comment it down i will uh, try to reply each and every comment please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you